The Ipswich River supplies drinking water for 330,000 people in Northeast Massachusetts. Highly stressed is how the Massachusetts Water Resources Commission has classified the Ipswich River. Due to water withdrawals from tributary streams and polluted stormwater runoff from increased impervious areas due to development. Silver Lake, a 28 and a half acre lake located in Wilmington, Massachusetts, is a tributary to the Ipswich River. Silver Lake is an important recreational resource that supports swimming, fishing, wildlife viewing, and boating. However, the lake is degraded from nutrients, sediment, and bacteria from the several direct discharge stormwater outlets and non-point source runoff. Beach closures due to high bacteria counts are a repeated occurrence. A comprehensive restoration project, funded by the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation, from a grant from the United States Environmental Protection Agency included a stormwater treatment design for three of the stormwater outfalls that discharge into Silver Lake. Matching funds were provided by the town of Wilmington. Stephen Roy of Geosyntec Consulting Incorporated was the main designer for the low impact development and porous pavements at Silver Lake. Roy and Geosyntec used technology to collect stormwater and improve water quality by filtering using bioremediation and by infiltrating it into the ground. Reducing runoff, promoting infiltration, improving groundwater recharge, and reducing discharge of pollutants into Silver Lake were the underlying objectives for restoration. The Silver Lake project involves installation of several low-impact development practices to treat stormwater. The two areas set for improvement included the residential area with outfall to the lake, and the Silver Lake Town Beach parking lot with two outfalls. The residential area improvements would include replacing asphalt pavement with porous pavers and infiltration beds as well as several rain gardens, replacements of catch basins, and the restoration of the stormwater outfalls. The Silver Lake Town Beach improvements also involve porous pavement replacing impervious pavements as well as construction of vegetated swales at the outfall to the lake. Four types of permeable paving materials were used to repave about half of the parking lot. The parking spaces themselves, consisting of about 8,000 square feet, were paved with EcoStone interlocking concrete pavers from Uniblock. EcoStone's design creates drainage openings in the pavement surface, which facilitate rainwater infiltration. The parking aisles, consisting of 16,600 square feet, were paved with porous asphalt. The porous asphalt was designed and installed according to the National Asphalt Paving Association specification. Underneath the porous pavers and asphalt is an infiltration bed of sand and gravel that will filter contaminants and allow water to slowly percolate into the underlying soil. Additionally, a porous paving system called Gravel Pave 2 consisting of interlocking plastic cells filled with gravel was installed in a portion of the overflow parking area. Gravel Pave 2 from Invisible Structures Incorporated is manufactured using 100% recycled HDPE plastic. Finally, a porous material called PlexiPave, manufactured by KBI, was installed in another small section of the overflow parking lot. FlexiPave is designed to be used as a paving material in low-speed applications made from recycled rubber tires and aggregate. For comparison purposes, one half of the existing main parking lot was resurfaced with standard asphalt. Installation of the EcoStone paver system is made up of a base, bedding layer, the pavers, and small aggregates to fill the drainage opening. The Gravel Pave 2 system is comprised of a porous base material. The Gravel Pave 2 fabric back rolls, anchors, and decorative gravel covering the ring and grid system. Porous asphalt consists of standard bituminous asphalt in which the aggregate fines have been screened and reduced. Porous asphalt also requires a similar porous base. FlexiPave is comprised of recycled tires and aggregates bound together by a urethane component. The mix is spread over a porous base course. The U.S. Geological Survey installs seven wells in the parking lot. Four wells provide data on groundwater levels 
and three, provide data on groundwater quality. And the USGS will monitor groundwater levels and collect samples monthly. Sampling is designed to detect any changes in groundwater quality associated with recharge from the parking lot. LID designs also provide a higher aesthetic appeal compared to conventional pipe sewer systems, enhancing the area for residents and visitors. Roy and Geosyntec use technology to collect stormwater and improve water quality by filtering using bioremediation and by infiltrating it into the ground, reversing the impact of human development in returning stormwater to the natural hydrologic cycle.